And then, uh, so you have this Saturday, this wonderful benefit. And then you also do a lot with women. Yeah. Uh, I know uh, that's a really important piece of you and uh, something that you real feel passionate about. And yeah. You want to share a little bit about that with us? Yeah, I'd love to. Um yeah, my uh, spiritual teacher, Yogi Bhajan, came to the West in, in 1969. And he um, right away started to have these long intensives just for women. And um, some of the men said, hey, what about us? You know? mm -hmm. And he said, well, I have to do this because the, this is a fast way to change the consciousness of the whole planet because women are, are the mothers of our future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so he has, um, you know, he spent many, many hours and months and years with uh, giving these women's teachings. And they're, they're yogically based mm -hmm. um, and powerful. They work. And um, so I've recently just delved into them and mm -hmm. started to teach them. And in my experience of practicing them and teaching them, um, I've just been able to heal so much within myself mm. and be so much more present um, as a mother, as a wife, and as a sister and a daughter. And just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm very passionate about continuing on this work. And um, we have an intensive that we're planning for the week of August 15th here in the Santa Cruz area. August? August 15th. This is October. I know. I know. We have to plan ahead around here, you know. Oh, okay. August yeah. 15, down the road? Down the road. Okay, yeah. next August. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, too, it's not just for women, but it's also for um, uh, their daughters as well. Oh, We're going nice. to have a program for, for young girls ages 5 to 11. Sweet. And then teenagers ages 12 to 18 as well. Okay. And then women of all ages for the um, and we're all going to be together and and experiencing these teachings and healing and and that'll be in santa cruz mount tamapayas it's going to be in the santa cruz area and we're okay. still solidifying on um on uh, the um locations, locations. and mm -hmm. all of that but i encourage if there's any women out there that want to attend um yeah to sign up for my newsletter through okay. my website. All right. And um, so that we can, as soon as we have the location, send you that information. Okay. And will it be limited in size or it probably It will be. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it will All be. Right. We'll, you know, I, th How I many uh, days will that be? Tonight? It's going to be five, five days. Five days wow, total. Wow, wonderful. Yeah. So it'll yeah. be a sleepover. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Big woman sleepover. Yep. <laughs> Maybe we'll circle the men around the perimeter. Huh? We'll be the guards at the post. <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't come in. Yeah, okay. we promise. <laughs> Many of our uh, traditional cultures are matriarchal. I really like how you bring that up and how your teacher said, you know, it's important that we bring the, the, that feminine energy that up into the forefront here because that's going to be the leader into the awareness and consciousness. And I know for uh, like the Oneida clan, back again with Bruce, their matriarchal society and the men, you know, we're just basically drones, you know, <laughs> but it's the woman that really makes the decisions. You know, they're really the ones because we realize, as you said, they're the ones that bring life into this world no different than the, that's why we call the earth you know our mother and the need to take care of her because ultimately she brings life so we can have life mm -hmm. and so i really like that direction of yours mm -hmm. uh, will there be some scholarships available because i know there's some people you know that we want to bring into these circles but don't have the financial capacity to do that how do you handle that element sonatum yeah, well, there will definitely be exchange positions. And, okay. and I... Sort of um, like work exchange. Work exchange. Nice. Kinds of positions available yeah. for people. Good. And uh, we can um, definitely work with people, um, mm -hmm. you know, as, as the need arises, especially 
if there are others that are participating that, mm-hmm. you know, um, and, and we can get all of the costs covered. We're, right. we're very committed to, right. to, to that, um, you know, not yeah. just having it all be about making money. Finances. Yeah, I, yeah. That's, again, that's a very traditional indigenous way of practice. I know in my healing practice, uh, I had a woman come see me this last week and very much in need of uh, not only, you know, just care. Mm-hmm. A lot of physical, emotional issues going on. And so then and she looked at me almost in tears. She said, but David, I, I can't afford you. Mm-hmm. And I, I told her, I says, well, I never say no to anybody. Mm-hmm. And I said, just bring what you can. And so then this week, when I, I got off work this week, I went out into my waiting room. And there she left me this beautiful zucchini and this big bag of fresh, fresh lavender flowers. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, that's, uh, it meant not so much to me, mm-hmm. you know, that... That kind of, to me, that's community. Yeah. And uh, I really think it's so important in this modern world of ours that we promote this kind of exchange, that we can include everybody in all that we do. Mm-hmm. And well, get, you kind of miss the point, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you know, if you don't. And yeah, it's, it's a... a a great opportunity. There's so many opportunities to give to people all the yeah. time, and for us, this is is a, a a great way that we love to give. Lovely. So you, we have a number of ways people can come join you. Yeah. They can come for your meditation in the morning. Yes. At, at what time in the morning? Well, Three. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are <laughs> we are in the process of of visioning um, a center, uh, and ah. and and although we'd love to bring in the entire world, um, <laughs> we have some limited parking right, right now. Right. But um, that that is part of what we're our. our our mission on. here in Santa Cruz, and mm-hmm. we're also um, doing a teacher training program for people to become certified Kundalini Yoga teachers in September. Um, this coming next year. Yes, next year. And that'll be local. Or yeah, that'll, Saf- that'll be Santa local. Cruz? Santa Cruz as okay, well. Okay, again, yeah. find it on your uh, website. Yeah. So that's for certified Kundalini. Uh, right. Teaching. Right. Will that integrate your chance, or is it? Would it be? Are those? You can. Oh yes, definitely. It will okay. be. Uh, you know, every weekend. Um, it's we meet once, once a month for ten months. Okay. And um, and I'll be uh, fully integrated into the teaching team. Wonderful. Um, for every single weekend, and we'll be uh, weaving in mantra chanting sacred mm-hmm. chants for people that really want to become empowered um, to teach but also to have a more in-depth experience right. you know people ask me well you know how did you learn how to sing how did right. you um, how do you do this mm-hmm. and um, you know it's all within the teachings of Kundalini yoga um, and do they need any prerequisites? Do they have to have already been practicing? Or can you come in just sort of like me, you know, left-handed and half-broken? <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing about Kundalini Yoga is that it works with not just the physical body, but we, mm-hmm. we, we, we talk about there being ten bodies. Okay. Um, we have your auric body, your pranic mm-hmm. body, your energy body, your subtle body, your positive mm-hmm. mind, negative mind. It goes on and on yeah, to yeah, ten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the idea is that somebody could roll in in a wheelchair yeah. um, to a Kundalini Yoga class or be the teacher of that class. Okay. And um, and have an experience or be a part of. Um, transmitting that experience okay so that'll be a 10 months almost a year commitment once a month Mm -hmm. and then be a certified kundalini teacher wonderful another another one of your giving away gifts yeah yeah wonderful yeah it it, people um, we're very passionate about doing this program um, because we've seen the depth of change that people go through we're talking about you know, I have a friend that was working for um, 
you know, the Morgan Lynch company mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, totally in, in, entrenched in that whole mm -hmm, world. Mm -hmm. He took Kundalini Yoga teacher training and he realized, oh my God, this is, <laughs> you know, I can't do this anymore. Life changing. So what he did is he actually left the company hmm. and started his own company doing uh, the same work, but in very ethical uh, and conscious. clean way, conscious way. Uh, so that's just one example. I mean, wonderful. there's like, you know, yeah. so many examples of how people kind of have <clears throat> these inner awakening, um, you know, experiences. So um, my husband and I realized last spring, this is like, mm -hmm. this is the best to be a part of this energy and to serve people in this way. So, yeah. And so I think it's important for everybody out there to know that what we're, when we're talking about healing, bringing awareness to yourself, uh, to the community, to the family, we're not talking about you having to change your complete lifestyle. You don't have to give up your cell phone, your job, your computer. Uh, matter of fact, just stay there. But when you integrate this chanting Kundalini Yoga into your life, that it will support that what you're doing in uh, a way that you feel better about. You'll have a sense of contributing to the betterment of mankind, humankind, if you will. Because I believe we all carry that seed. We, yeah. I believe we all carry that seed of wanting to contribute. Yeah. And you do contribute by your presence. And okay. that's why we don't... We don't want to just Important have to the experience that. and mm -hmm. internalize and be isolated. We want to have the experience and bring that experience of inner joy and peace out into the world, into our work, okay. and into our schools. And yeah, and you don't have to be a Sikh to practice Kundalini Yoga meditation. You don't have to be a Sikh to chant these mantras. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, and yeah, is, you're exactly right. It's not about changing the outside world, mm -hmm. you know, your job, uh, your, who you're married to, etc. Mm -hmm. It's about the transformation internally. Uh -huh. um, um, and just knowing who you truly are. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, oftentimes life will change on the outside, mm -hmm. but it, it'll be... Um, totally different experience than typically how we go through life changing the outside world it all comes from an mm -hmm. interior space and it's magical to watch how that unfolds from that it's, place it, it's like a just sort of a natural organic process mm -hmm. right you, you yeah don't, you don't again you don't have to try to get somewhere or accomplish something or oh what am i doing wrong my mind's still just going 100 miles an hour as, as if I, like i have clients come to me and they say to me david i i can't make my mind stop <laughs> <laughs> i says well you're not supposed to try to make it stop you yeah know? let let it play out just mm -hmm. sit with it yeah there you so, go so that's what i'm hearing you know mm -hmm. it's sort of like when you plant a garden right you plant those seeds you can't make a girl, but you just sit out there and watch and you're praying and you put some water on there and some chicken manure, you know, and the next thing you see them, they, they sprout, they grow. You go, oh my God, you know, right? You say, water them a little more because you're, you're starting to see the results. You start feeling mm -hmm. personally within yourself. You say, oh my goodness, I just, something's happening in there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, exactly. It's beautiful analogies. Yeah. I love them. I love your analogies. It's, yeah. it's all, all this technology, so to speak, it points at that one thing. Mm. But then it's that grace and that mystery that will mm. make that seed actually grow. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so beautiful to connect yeah. with, and with community and support each other this mm -hmm. way. I, I reflect back on my life and all the years that I'd be so reactionary, uh, trying to fix and uh, give my opinion <laughs> or control all these little places where we get mm -hmm. and it, one thing I'm very grateful for uh, being able to 
live what I call an old age. You know, I'm 65 now is I can see the work that I've done. The seeds finally starting to sprout a little bit. <laughs> and so when something say in the family happens, you know, we're having a hard time with our, with my grandson right now, the, it, it, in spite of his struggle, it's been given me the opportunity to ask myself that question now with the awareness and the tools that I've been given to how can I bring a healing to this situation? Because my reaction, my anger, my disgust, my, you know, my yelling, none of that, none of that helps. Mm -hmm. But what I'm seeing now and what's all that's really pretty much left for me, you know, being a grandpa, is me wanting to ask that question to myself, knowing that's probably the best thing I can do for everybody. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you know, it's wonderful to be able to start coming to that place where you're not so reactionary anymore, where you come into that quiet place, maybe you call it that empty, you know, that, that void where you have the opportunity to ask, have that choice to say, how can I bring some healing to this situation or how can I bring some love to this place? So I think that's what we're all looking for anyway. You know, it's that acknowledgement to be loved, you know, and mm -hmm. we're all, we all have our broken parts, you know, like Sonatum, you said, we're broke, you know, we're not perfect. Yeah. And how can we identify those places that maybe we can water that garden a little better, you know, become that better person. And so uh, anyway, with that, we're going to be closing today. We've been talking with Sonatum Carr and her husband, uh, so put it. So put it. Thank you. So put it. It's a beautiful okay, name. Thank you. And uh, Snodham has a new CD out called Light of the Numb, Morning Chants. And they're moving in the direction of offering more classes, some home, home course study programs. Yes. And so go to her website at sonatumcar.com. You can find all the details. They also have a wonderful benefit coming up Friday. Saturday. Saturday, yeah. thank you. San Francisco. San Francisco, yeah. October 18th at the Nor Norse Theater. Norse Theater. Norse Theater, San Francisco. If you want to buy tickets, go to Sonatum Car's website. You can get more information there. Yeah. Our Bright Star uh, events. Our Bright Star yeah. events. Yeah. Look forward to next year. We got some women workshops in August. And we got a Kundalini uh, yoga. Teacher training. Teacher training <laughs> program in September. So a lot going on. Uh, and maybe in closing, you'd like to maybe just close it with a little closing chant. And thank you so much for opening your home to us. Yes. Uh, thank you. I want to give a big uh, hug to Clay Schmitz, our video producer. Uh, my daughter, Kasha Kukula, who's actually been listening to Sonatum Kar's uh, chants for years. And she was so nervous coming here today to actually be able to say hi to the two of you and to actually be able to meet you. And hopefully she'll be joining you in your workshops. So with that, uh, blessings to all of you. Find the goodness in life. Uh, greet that morning sun with a hello and uh, learn the lessons that need to be learned in that good way. But remember, uh, love yourself, love each other, love thy neighbor. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.